Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I am out in what's left of my greenhouse. As you can see, I've taken the cover off right now. So right now, I just have the frame above me, and I'm going to take it off. But while I was out here, I noticed that, you know, I still have these uh, two raised beds out here. And so uh, one of them has just a few plants in it because I took out some plants that were uh, broken or weren't uh, thriving. So, you know, I just right now don't have time to uh, nurse any sick plants back to health. So I decided to go ahead and take those plants out, which it wasn't very much. It was a tomato and a um, sage plant. So I went ahead and took those out and uh, just cleaned up a little inside the bed. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and let you all see what this bed is looking like, or maybe I can just bend it down and let you see what I am fixing to do to this bed. Okay, so this is what the bed is looking like right now. I have added some more soil to this bed and I have decided that what I'm going to do is I am going to plant some pinto beans. And these are some pinto beans that I just purchased from Walmart. And I should have taken them out and soaked them, but we are expecting more rain. So I am just gonna go ahead and get these pinto beans planted in this bed. But first, I want to amend my soil. Okay, so what I'm going to be amending my soil with today is my garden tone. And I know you might say, well, why are you amending the soil? Beans are nitrogen fixers. That's true. But with all the different variables we have to deal with, with the weather, the rain, with the heat, I just feel better personally if I go ahead and amend my soil so I can give my beans the best chance that they can possibly get. And I don't feel like they're gonna get too much nitrogen because I'm adding this garden tone to the soil. First of all, it's organic. And second, with it raining a lot, a lot of this will get washed away. So it needs whatever it can get right now. So I'm going to go ahead and amend my soil with this garden tone and give it, give it quite a bit because I want my other plant to get some too. A little clean up. And if you think the only way that you can eat these pinto beans are dry, the way that a lot of us eat them, that I urge you to try them fresh. Pinto beans fresh are one of the most delicious dishes that you can eat. If you're country, like I am, I love them. I have been eating them for years, fresh out of the garden, where you just shell them the way that you shell your purple hull peas and you uh, boil them and serve them with side dishes like squash and okra. So delicious. Cornbread. But it, it's a very expensive product if you go and try to purchase them at the uh, farmer's market or a uh, produce shed. And I think one reason is because they're so time consuming to produce. It's going to take from 90 to 100 days for these beans to uh, be ready to harvest. And then after they're ready to harvest, you gotta come out and you gotta pick them. And they, they come out uh, on uh, in shells like um, purple hull peas, and you got to shell them. And after you shell them, you know you're not gonna get very many. You might get this many out of a shell. 
or maybe a few more. And so that's why after all that work has been done, you're going to have to pay for those, uh, that labor. So it's best if you like pinto beans fresh to go ahead because, you know, these bags like this cost like a dollar to have this bag. But a bag like this fresh is going to be much more. I can't tell you exactly how much, but uh, do your research and find out how much fresh pinto beans are in your area. And you will be surprised if you have not already been trying to purchase them. So you can, uh, uh, the best thing, as I said, to do is to go ahead and soak your beans overnight. I did not do that because, like I said, we're going to get uh, rain. If not, I would just water them. But I'm going to water them in after I finish planting them. And the way I'm going to plant them is I'm just going to drop them in and cover them with some soil. careful because I didn't want to put any beans back in the bag because y'all I'm taking these beans back into the house so I got my bag tied up good because those will be cooked Parsley, and well, I've got two pepper plants parsley 
and actually three tomatoes and I have a squash I think that's a squash or a cucumber over in the corner so I just keep an eye on all of these plants as they're growing in here with these beans And I also have some onions in here. I harvest some onions out of this bed today. Okay, y'all, so I hope that you all learned something from this video. I hope that you will give the video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.